Hi, I'm Helen Milner. I'm the Managing Director of UK Online Centres. We've made this short film today to share with you some of the practice from the UK. In the UK, there are 40 million people who use the internet every day. There's 9 million people who have never, ever used the internet. And that's why we exist. We're a government-funded organisation to help those 9 million people who have never used the internet and the 10 million people who don't have the skills to use the internet in the way they want to, to get online for the first time. Recently, we got a um, target of getting 1 million more people registered on our system. And we're really delighted because we've just passed the half a million people in July. That's not just important because we're hitting a target. It's also important because we know that 82% of those people are socially excluded. So they're the very people that we wanted to get online in the first place. There are three reasons why people aren't online. Access, motivation and skills. So the first one, access, of course we have the centres. And I've said they do outreach. But how do they find out about those centres? All of our marketing has a free telephone number on. They're not online, they can't be on the internet. But we have one database with all of our centres. And in fact, other centres, for example, the BBC, have a network in the UK as well that we have on that database. You can go online and you can do a centre search. So if you're a friend or family member, you can find a local centre to you. And actually, it's exactly the same database that they use on the helpline. So I see in your report that um, you've mentioned a national Get Online Week. I don't think you quite called it that, but we have something called Get Online Week. So every year, this year, in 2011, in October, it'll be the fifth Get Online Week that we've had. So last year, in 2010, 90,000 people got online during October, in which Get Online Week was. So what is Get Online Week? Well, it's, ma it's a mass campaign working with big partners like the BBC and others. And all of the national PR is free. We don't pay for that. Obviously, we work hard to, to work with partners to make it happen. So we get a lot of national free PR. But then we support local events. Last year, there were more than 1,500 events in Get Online Week. And their events are completely designed and organised at the local level, but we provide them with what we call a marketing pack. So they get a box with um, posters and leaflets and badges and pens, which actually makes them feel special and makes them feel part of something bigger. And skills, the third one, access, motivation and skills, uh, we have a new website, um, goon.co.uk. Um, it helps people to link to products, online products, online courses that other people have, but also that we have. And within that, we have a core called Online Basics. This is all free. It is all on the internet. Anyone can access it, whether they're in the centre or not. Online Basics, we've designed as being the basics for what someone wants to know if they're on the internet. I thought just to finish off, I'd, I'd tell you what I would do if I was doing it again. So from your point of view, what do you really want to know? First of all, the network is really important. And the centres tell us that being part of a network is of value to them and that being part of something bigger. So if you're a small voluntary organisation, a small community centre, actually being part of this big thing called UK Online Centres is of value to them. Secondly, volunteers. Um, in this country and all over the world, I know that money is getting tighter for community organisations. So actually helping the centres to develop, train, recruit, motivate, incentivise their volunteers is another task that we have and is increasingly important. The marketing we do is really successful. Don't spend any money on the national stuff. Spend the money, if you've got some money, on the local packs, the local events. But then make sure they know they're part of something much bigger that always promotes the helpline and the online search. Four, we have network coordinators based right here in our office who ring centres. Frequent uh, contact with the centres is really important. And as one of, one of the staff says, the centres need to feel the love. And lastly, of course, you can never do anything on your own. So collaborating with big national partners is also really important. Make sure that they feel valued, that they're part of it, and that then that trickles down to those, those small centres on the ground, because after all, they're doing the work in the end anyway. So please follow us on Facebook or Twitter, and have a great conference. Thank you very much.